We're at 1752 hours. Uh, the Vallejo Fire Department were en route to a house related fire uh, here at the intersection of Sonoma and York, and unfortunately, were involved in a uh, pretty serious collision. Uh, that collision involved uh, other vehicles. Uh, all told, there was four firefighters that were injured, uh, sustaining serious but non life threatening injuries. Uh, they were transported to Bay Area uh, trauma centers. The other two involved citizens were also uh, transported to uh, Bay Area trauma centers, uh, again with serious but non-life threatening uh, injuries. And from what we understand, one witness said the fire truck struck a car one block up on Main Street, and that's what sort of caused it to careen out of control, or what? Well, at this point, uh, we're not going to speculate because uh, the uh, collision investigation is being handled by the Vallejo Police Department's traffic division. Uh, we don't want to uh, make any conclusions. We're relying upon all the witnesses to step forward. Anybody who saw anything, we're going to rely upon them. Uh, we're also going to be looking at uh, area cameras that we have posted on poles to try and uh, help us understand how this collision occurred. Now we understand the truck was actually barrel rolling down the street? Well, I don't know what the term barrel rolling means. The only thing I do know is that a ladder truck um, with someone in the tiller um, obviously is responsible for controlling the direction of the rear end of that vehicle. And anytime that it's involved in something like this, it's a very, very difficult thing I'm sure to have to do. Although I have no expertise in this, I can just imagine that uh, that particular firefighter who is well trained and certified on how to operate the tiller um, was uh, in a very unfortunate ride of his life. So the, the truck did flip over numerous times, I guess, taking out signs and all? From well, what we again, hard to say what uh, the truck did based upon uh, the positioning of that truck right now, which it's on its side. I can only imagine that it uh, probably slid. Again, I'm not willing to speculate if it rolled, barrel rolled, as you've said. Um, again, this is the very early stages of the investigation, but we'll get to the bottom of how this accident occurred. Uh, and our concern right now is with uh, the four firefighters and the citizens that were involved in hoping uh, that they are all uh, able to pull through this. So two cars or three cars? Uh, it's my understanding that two additional vehicles. So yeah. the fire engine may be and a, two vehicles. There, there may be a third vehicle involved aside from the fire truck, um, but it's my understanding at this point that there's two. Okay. And anything else, Deborah? Or? Well, we walked up late because, sorry, we were in our, Thank you. Sure. our newscast. Sure. So if I could get you to You're recap, I would. Sorry, That's okay. We've got to run, I guess. If you could just recap what you can tell us about this crash. Well, what I can tell you, uh, again, at 1752 hours, the Vallejo Fire Department were en route to a house-related fire uh, when they were involved in this collision here at Sonoma in York. Um, obviously, based upon the seriousness of the collision itself, uh, the wreckage and whatnot, um, those that were involved sustained uh, serious but non-life-threatening injuries. There was four firefighters on board the ladder truck, Truck 21, in addition, there were two other citizens involved, potentially a third, that were also involved in uh, the collision. They also sustained serious but non-life-threatening injuries. One of those is the person in the Yukon. The, the, that wreckage is right next to the truck. Correct. That was the gentleman who was airlifted? Correct. What do you know about his condition? Uh, all I know is that he's in serious condition. Again, non-life-threatening injuries. Um, you know, Our prayers go out to the firefighters, to the citizens involved. Uh, it's a very tragic set of circumstances involving this crash. Um, the Vallejo Police Department tra Traffic Division is responsible for the collision investigation and we're asking for any witnesses that might have see seen this to step forward uh, and to contact us with whatever information they do have. We're going to be looking at all the area uh, cameras that we have posted uh, in the area uh, to try and solicit any type of evidence from that. Um, but this was a case where they're on a call, code three, lights and siren. It's clearly the, the citizen's responsibility to yield. Correct. It's the citizen's responsibility to pull to the right anytime an emergency vehicle is moving uh, with lights and siren. And in this particular case, um, that's just exactly what was taking place. The fire uh, engine was en route to a fire-related call. Uh, and they, were, uh, they had their lights, emergency lights and sirens activated. And so we would ask at any time that citizens see an emergency vehicle approaching with their lights and siren, pull to the right. Um, and it's amazing to me how often we have trouble with uh, that very basic 
uh, principal of pulling to the right. What would your preliminary take on this be that, that, that drivers did not yield to the engine? Again, too early to speculate. Um, I don't want to sit here and say anything related to how the collision occurred, who was responsible, because we just frankly don't know. Are there rules as far as how uh, quickly a fire engine, a ladder truck, can and should be moving through you know, a densely populated area or an area with uh, maybe obstructed visibility uh, or something like something along those lines? Are there, are there guidelines for that? There, there's always guidelines on, on you know, emergency vehicles uh, moving about. Um, these firefighters are well trained. Uh, they're certified in the operation of this particular ladder truck. Um, these op or these firefighters are uh, very astute uh, as to how they should drive Code 3 uh, when in response to an emergency related call. Did there have to be an extrication uh, from the fire truck as well? In other words, was there a fire, were any of the firefighters trapped inside after, the, after this thing came to a rest? It's my understanding they were not. Uh, they were able to um, uh, exit the ladder truck on their own power. Mm -hmm. I do know that one of the citizens had to be extricated from, I believe, the SUV, uh, and I'm not sure about the others. And you said the, the Yukon driver was the one who was airlifted. Any of the firefighters airlifted, were they able to get to the hospital via ground trip? I believe they were ground uh, transported to the area trauma centers. And again, uh, serious but non-life-threatening injuries.